hey y'all welcome back to my channel so today we are going to be doing a refill or a fill-in um on my friend's nails um so as you can see she is missing a couple so we're gonna do a couple fixes as well but we're gonna start off with our big nippers i don't know these are like some pliers type things um this is what i use to get all of the bling off before we can start filing all right so since we're doing a filling i'm not starting off with my um sandy band instead i'm starting off with a five and one um drill bit this is from panda i get it off of amazon um this one i want to say is like a medium i'm not 100 percent sure but i'm almost certain that it is um a medium grit and i literally just use it at a high speed to take the polish off and any lifting that she may have Oh, 
Alright, so once we are done with our 5 and one we're going to go ahead and switch over to our sanding band. We're going to go ahead and use that to get rid of um, any debris or any oils or anything. Go ahead and prep the natural nail plate so that we can get ready to do this filling. Um, and you can also go ahead and re remove any lifting that you missed with the 5 and one or that you were scared to get too close to the natural nail plate. all right and if you guys look very closely um on this one you can tell that it's a little bit more grown out or it's a little bit more natural nail showing that's because this one had um so lifting though so if you see me on the nail like for a little bit it seems like i'm on longer than the other ones it's because i'm getting rid of any further lifting that i didn't get rid of with the five one um just making sure that all of it's gone because if it's not it's going to continue to lift later on like even though you're putting product on top of it it's going to still be lifted and it can cause problems um it can, you know moisture can get trapped under the lifted area you just want to try to get all of it off like literally so yeah if it seems like i'm spending a lot of time and really not i'm just trying to make sure that it's it's gone completely because we don't we don't want no lifting <laughs> All right, so right here I am dehydrating the nail as well as getting rid of any debris that is still on there from when we was filing so that we can get ready to go ahead and glue these tips on. 
um she had the tapered square tips they're from una jella i think that's how you say it. i get them off of amazon i love these tips but i'm trying to find some tips that i can get like just the refills like with the numbers that are always gone because i'm so tired of buying these boxes like it doesn't even make sense but yeah so we're just gonna go ahead and replace the nails that are missing and then we'll get into the filling process and when i'm waving my hand trying to dry her nail plate it's because of the um dehydrator isn't all the way dry like her finger isn't ashy enough so i want it to be completely dry before i glue these on all right so we're getting ready for the refill process so the monomer i am using is from kiara sky their ema monomer i love this monomer i don't have any issues with it um and for primer i can't tell you where you can get this but it's acid primer and it literally came in my nail kit from nail school so no idea but it has been working for my clients that i have been using it on and i have only been using it on the ones that have had problems with lifting or um they the nail is missing when they come back <laughs> because it seems like the only people that's having a problem is like my clients that have like a oily um nail plate or whatever because when i transferred um or whatever you want to call it when i moved them over to this they haven't really been having any issues so today i'm just starting her on it because i was like girl you gotta stop coming up in here with these missing nails like literally it's only two of y'all that come in here with missing nails like i'm confused so yeah um and i already know that it has been working for her so yeah so yeah if you're having any issues with any clients that nails are missing or popping off or like they'll say they're popping off or um any lifting like a lot of lifting on multiple nails maybe try switching out the primer for a acid primer instead of the acid free because the young nails is acid free pretty much how you can tell um if it doesn't say it on the bottle is the acid free primers or the sticky primers like they dry like you know shiny like it's sticky and the ones that are a acid primer they dry kind of chalky or ashy looking so yeah just a little quick tip for today and as for the acrylic color that we're using today it is one that i had mixed up a while back um that i was trying to get rid of so i am officially done with my mixes all of them are gone so from now on from the videos that you see from today for it well after today um all of those are going to have like real names by real people so yeah we're not mixing anymore because i'm tired of trying to figure out what i done mixed up or you know i could be more organized with it but anyways that's just too much work um all i've been using lately is young nails their cover powders love them yeah so yeah this is a mix and we're just going to move on from that You 
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pull our dust collector out. It's from LG Susie. As you can see, I use it a lot. It's a little beat up. Um, but if y'all don't have a dust collector, please invest in one. Invest in one because your lungs are going to thank you later on. But um, we're going to start filing, hand filing with our uh, Pana 8080 grid. This is a zebra one. I, um, like I done told y'all, I get them off of Amazon for $25 for 50 of them. So I feel like, you know, it's a good bang for your buck, especially if you do them like this and break them in half for your shorter nail clients. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna last you a long time. All right, so once we are done with our hand filing, we're going to go in with our e-file, and we are using a 150 grit sanding band for this step. What we're gonna do is just go ahead and smooth the entire nail out just to make sure there's no lumps or bumps. We'll go underneath the free edge as well to make sure there's no acrylic under there that doesn't need to be. And we're gonna go ahead and seal the cuticles as well. So I'm gonna do all of that with this sanding band. Um, in my opinion, you don't have to have like a whole bunch of drill bits to achieve the look you're going for, or to just make sure that your nails are smooth. Um, and sorry if I'm out of frame for a little bit, but yeah, we're just gonna do all that on each nail, and then we're gonna go into the nail art.
All right, so in my um, process of doing nails, I have changed it a little bit. So instead of going like hand filing one hand, then hand filing the other, then going from e-filing one hand to the other, now I just go ahead and hand file on one hand, then e-file on that same hand, and then I'll go ahead and switch hands. It just, um, to me, it makes it a little bit better because I'm not continuously switching out their hands. Um, Cause you know, clients, they like to be on their phone or whatnot. Um, so instead of just, Keep switching their hands out and they're not really paying attention um, I rather just keep one hand at a time do all the filing that I need to do on that hand and then when I give it back to them they can keep it you know until I'm done and at that point I'm, they're washing their hands and getting ready for the um, the nail art process so I just want to come in and say that real quick All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and finally get into the nail art, the fun part. Um, so first off, I'm going to just polish her nails with um, some base coat. This is from Koopa, Koopa. And I got this off of Amazon. Um, I'm not really focusing on the uh, cuticle area just because when you're doing nail art, uh, especially like Frenchies in this case, you don't have to polish the whole entire nail you're literally going to only do the part that you're going to be drawing on just to make it like super smooth so you don't have any issues with the lines like bleeding or um resting in any like little grooves or anything like that so yeah and she's going to cure that for 60 seconds all right so i'm telling y'all so y'all won't make the mistake that i used to please make sure you remove the techie layer off of the base coat because if you don't 
it is going to spread. It's gonna pretty much act like blooming gel. And say you draw a Frenchie, your Frenchie line is going to be jacked up because it is going to spread. Um, so yeah, just make sure you wipe it off before you start drawing. Especially if you're gonna do more than one nail at a time. If you're doing one nail at a time, I mean, honestly, if you're just gonna go ahead and put it straight into the light after you draw the French, then it's not really gonna be that much of a big deal. It's not gonna spread that much, but yeah. So these are the colors we're gonna use. I know you guys couldn't see them. They are from Savaland, Savaland, something like that. Um, but they are glow in the dark colors, and I got them off of Amazon. Um, I wish I had the picture that she showed me. We're kind of recreating a picture, but kind of like putting our own spin on it. Uh, again, these are glow in the dark colors, so I'm not even gonna lie. The like they glow good. Um, I like the colors. I love the color selection. I got like, again, I got these off of Amazon. So um, Saveland, or however you say it, they do have other products. I'm not gonna say they're like a really great brand because I'm not gonna lie. It's not that. It's not like really pigmented, if that makes sense. So you're going to actually see me mess up. And I kept it in just because most of it in. Um, just so you guys can know like how to fix it if you had the same issue. So as you can see them on the palette, they look great. They look awesome. But watch when I do this a little Frenchie. All right, so as y'all can see, basically it's not showing up that good. It is very, like, dull looking. It kind of blends in with the base color that we have on the nails already. So, um, I asked her, like, you're going to see her look at it in a little while um, to see if she likes it or whatever. But um, I personally was not happy with it. She was like, it's okay or whatever, but I just felt like it wasn't enough. And I feel like it still wouldn't, wouldn't be... Um, it's, I feel like if I put another coat on there, it still wasn't going to be what I was trying to do. So, you see me just playing with her finger, trying to see. I was like, if I make it a little thicker, you know, whatever. So, yeah. Um, I am going to end up putting white underneath. Um, so, I am going to go through and just do white Frenchies on each nail. And then I'm going to go back and put the um, the glow-in-the-dark colors on top. And as you're going to be able to see, it's going to pop so much better like i feel like it glowed better too but anyway so i'm gonna do go ahead and do white frenchies on all of them that's why i'm using this beetles right here you saw me bring that out so this is actually just a test finger to see but you're gonna see that it looks 100 percent better and brighter so um yeah we're gonna do white frenchies on all of them i know i keep repeating myself i do apologize for the inconvenience um but after that, then we're going to go ahead and go through with each color on top, and then I'll be right back.
all right so on this test finger when i put the white base and then the color on top right here i'm just making sure it glows as you can see it did glow so i was just making sure um i cut the lights off and everything but i was just making sure before i went ahead and put the white underneath i wanted to make sure all the nails were going to still glow with the glow polish on top so yeah i just had to come and tell y'all that real quick
So, y'all, I'm not even going to lie. The white Frenchies was hidden. I really wanted to be like, don't you just want to keep them like this? Because oh, it's just something about that classic pink and white. But um, right here, I am just going to go ahead and file this off. I, I wasn't even going to be petty and leave it like that because the other one looked so much better. So, I just filed it off with my file real quick, buffed it out so that it would still be smooth. So, I could go ahead and put the white polish down. And then we're going to go ahead and put the colors on top of it finally.
all right y'all so i'm not even gonna lie this set took a while it definitely took longer than i expected um because we did go ahead and do a fill-in after that trial and error we did go ahead and put the white fringes and on top of that the colors um and now we're gonna use this spider gel from the same company as the glow and dark colors it's from again Savaland or however you want to say it um i had this spider gel for a while um, this is the only swatter gel I've ever used, but I don't have any issues with this, so I'm just going to stick to it. I don't have any problems. Like, I've used it numerous times. It gets the job done every time. Um, it's just so messy. That's the only thing I hate about spider gel, but it's spider gel in general. So, as you can see, we're going to pull out a string of it, and then we're going to wrap it around with a dotting tool. Um, it doesn't really matter how you wrap it around. As you can see, I'm doing it differently on each nail. I might wrap it around, and I might snap it back i don't i don't really know how to explain it but if y'all can see what i mean um just make sure you do this step right here which is just taking any of that spider gel that got trapped underneath off because you do not want your client walking up out of this shop with spider gel up under their nails and everything getting caught up under their nails and now you like what the, what what's going on baby what happened like why you got all this gunk up under your nails and she's gonna be like you did it <laughs> but anyways um after you put the spider gel on there we're going to go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds and also side note i did try to do it fairly thin because i did not do the top coat beforehand um i don't know i just felt like this would be better because it's white and we definitely don't want to stain or anything so i was going to top coat it either way it went so i just did it thinly and then i'm going to top coat it which i'm going to top coat the entire nail um, I think you could probably do it the other way as well, like top coat and then put the spider gel on. But I would feel like you need to top coat it again. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. But it has a sticky layer to it. So I would assume that it needs to be top coated. all right y'all so now it is the final step we're going to go ahead and top coat with our koopa glossy gel top coat i get this off of amazon and actually i just went ahead and got the refill bottle um just to let you know it is a way cheaper to do it this way the refill bottle will last you forever um but anyway so we're gonna go ahead and just top coat the entire nail make sure you get all the way back to the cuticle area um <clears throat> and clean up any spots that you may have because you don't want your clients to burn if it is on their um finger but yeah um so that's pretty much it for this look as always i have the clip at the end showing you guys the end result um and in this case it will be showing you how they glow in the dark um but yeah thank you guys so much for tuning in please like comment and subscribe and go ahead and comment anything that you guys want to see from me next um also if you guys have any criticism or anything um or any questions, you know, like just anything you guys want to ask. I really want to do a Q&A, but <laughs> I'm not big time yet. But anyways, thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next video.